guys and ghouls. So I have just got back from my jury service. I'm currently on jury duty at the moment, which is why I have been uploading so sporadically because I'm spending every single day at the moment in court. But we were let out a little bit early and I definitely feel like due to this case being absolutely horrendous, I have been trying to spend every afternoon as relaxed as I possibly could. And I think what I have here to unbox with you today is definitely going to aid with today's relaxation. So this is a kind of a mystery box as such. Bubba's Melties did contact me um, about a week or so ago um, asking if I would like to try out some of their products. Now I have known of Bubba's Melties for a little while. They've been on my radar. I definitely know that a few of you have tried them out before. I've seen them in your Instagram stories and things. So I am super, super excited to finally get to give these products a try and a go myself. As always, I am so excited about smaller businesses, especially cruelty-free companies. And Bubba's Melties is completely cruelty-free. They're also vegan as well, and they do ship worldwide. So let's go ahead and open this. I'm not too sure what's in here. All I know is that it's gonna be gothic, it's gonna be spooky. And I'm led to believe that the majority of what she sells are kind of wax melts um, and candles. So she has packaged it up super nicely. It does say fragile all over the box, but it does also have my address and her address all over the box as well. Um, so let me just open it up. So as you can see, it's packaged super, super nicely. And it looks like there's lots and lots of bubble wrap in there. Straight away from opening it, I have like the most gorgeous waft of smell coming towards me. So Bubba's Melties did actually send me a message to ask if there was any things I wanted specifically. But when she messaged me, I was just so, so busy. So in the end, I just asked her to choose me a few things. And this box is absolutely jam packed. So here's what it looks like inside. They're all absolutely gorgeously wrapped. And quickly, just before I show you what came in this surprise box, I did want to mention that I do also have a discount code for you. Now, if you see anything that you like during this unboxing, or if you head over to her shop and see something that tickles your fancy, you can get 10% off by using the discount code HauntedBubbaBat. I will leave it down in the description below for you and also pin it in the comments. Enjoy! So um, I'm not really sure if there's an order, so I'm just going to go, I go smallest to largest. Okay, so we have a nice white box. It has a really nice kind of black, almost like mesh ribbon around it. So let's open it up. And on the top, it does have a Bubba's Melties logo. So as you can see, it's this kind of like skull and crossbones with little pigtails coming out. Um, and then you have Bubba's Melties written on the top and the bottom. So let's open it up. Okay, inside we have some black tissue paper and some more, ooh. Oh, awesome. So this one is a candle. Let me just take everything out because there's also some paperwork in there. So the paperwork that's come in there is, oh, it's her little business card. That was a good first choice of box. It says Bubba's Melties. They are alternative scented wax melts and candles. And then also it says that this company is raising awareness. So they're raising awareness for chronic illness, mental illness, and also disabilities, which I absolutely love. We don't usually get that kind of thing on a business card, but I do really love that kind of factor that they've put in there. Definitely a really important thing to raise awareness for. I do follow a few YouTubers who do talk about their chronic illness. Um, one that comes straight to mind is Ashley O'Neill. She does have fibromyalgia, I think it is pronounced. So definitely I will link some of her playlists down below if you would like to learn more um, about people with chronic illnesses or if you perhaps have a chronic illness or a mental illness or perhaps a disability which you would like to kind of find others that you can resonate with and learn from others. So these are handmade in Northern Ireland although they do ship worldwide. We then also do have her Instagram and her Facebook handle, her email address and also her website. So I'll leave all the information that you need down in the description below. Now on the back of this card, it does have some more information about the candle itself. So I'm not sure if these kind of business cards are kind of subjective to the item that you're getting, but it appears I have got a candle here. So it just says candle rules, remove packaging, place on a heat proof plate, 
burn until the pool reaches the edge, then blow out, allow to set, then relight. Um, and this prevents tunneling, <coughs> which is something I am horrendous at. One thing I can never suss out is how to stop candles like <laughs> tunneling. I think it's because I'm one of those people that I like to light a candle, but sometimes I don't like think too strategically and I'll light a candle like as I'm getting ready to go out. So it'll only be kind of burning for half an hour. There is then a lot of other information as to what you can do to kind of make sure that your candle lasts the longest. It does also say that there's a frequently asked questions bit on their website or you can email them um, and to make sure that you post videos and photos of their candles on social media and again it just says um, every time you do it does help to raise awareness of chronic illness, mental illness and also disability which I am so 100% for raising awareness of. So in here as well there is this piece of paper. This piece of paper um, says Happy Halloween! Oh, okay, so this is all about the candle. Wow, that is amazing. That whole sheet is about the candle. So let's get the candle out so we know what we're talking about. And straight away, I am loving this packaging. This is so awesome. So I'll show you what it's like and then I'll read you the information. So here is the packaging. It's in an almost like rose gold, kind of almost orange tinted. I really love the colour of this like metal kind of candle tin that it's in. So on the top we have again their logo on their actual website and then it says Happy Halloween Soy Candle and then on the side it says Spooky Fruity with this really cool haunted house. Definitely I can smell a fruity kind of vibe coming from it um, and underneath it does just have a warning label to kind of prevent fire. And then when you open the lid of the candle, this is how it looks inside. It is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's this glorious dark purple colour and then it has been covered in some really pretty black glitter. I don't think I've actually had any glittery candles, so that is awesome. And you guys know I do love my glitter. As for the smell, it is so lovely. It definitely is a fruity smell. It's reminding me of some kind of like a sweet or like something sweet that I used to have when I was like a child. Is it like, I think it's some form of a, like a lollipop or something it's reminding me of. Definitely like a fruity, like a fruity lollipop is what it would remind me of. Um, so it says um, on here, this whole piece of paper is about this one candle. Um, so it says, Happy Halloween it releases sweet fruity fragrance composed of freshly picked raspberries, strawberries and blueberries. Maybe it's blueberries I'm smelling. Albert, my tortoise, I've just got loves blueberries as well. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be approving of this candle. Um, it says these candles are the perfect gift. Also good for traveling as they are in aluminium tins with lids. So you can take them kind of anywhere where you're going. And then really interestingly, she has given an emergency phone number. I guess that's if you like really need to know something about it. And then also she's added in the content. So the complete ingredients list. Although this isn't something that you'd be like using on your skin, obviously, because it's a candle. Um, I think it's really interesting and important that she has added those ingredients in just in case you have like a an airborne allergy to anything it does say that it's highly flammable which is kind of a good thing <laughs> since it is a candle it does also say that the colors may like vary in things it has the weight which is around 250 milliliters and then also a disclaimer and so much like this whole bottom bit is like cautions just making sure that you're looking after your candle correctly making sure that you're using it safely i think that's so important because candles can be so so destructive if you don't look after them properly i'm quite like a over anxious candle user and the fact like I blow out my candles as I leave the room. I get really funny with leaving them like flickering when I'm not in the room, hence why I think mine tunnel so easily because I like light them up as I'm getting ready and then like I need to go and have a shower and I'm like, because I'm like, I don't want to burn the house down. <laughs> but the fact that this is in a metal tin does make me feel a bit safer. Definitely when I use like glass jars or tins, I feel it is slightly more secure than like a little tea light. Um, but yeah, that is so exciting and I cannot wait to use this.
the next one up so it is this lovely white box as you can see it is slightly larger than the one that we just opened so let me pull the ribbon um, and let's see what's inside so again I can feel some tissue paper in there oh okay so there's a few different things so I'm just gonna put this down and open it strategically strategic 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 strategically strategically <laughs> because there's lots of stuff going on so I've taken off the top layer and then we have oh okay so we have our first melt now since this is a family friendly channel i will not say the name of this candle out loud but i will put it up on the screen for you to see yourself it definitely is a very valid point um and then here we have a really cool looking brain melt and as you can see it is in the flavor the flavor the scent of poisoned apple and it does have their little logo and then on the back stable to it there is the information sheet so this one is to raise awareness of brain tumours. Um, it is a soy blend wax with poison apple and dark musk fragrance oil. This collection will be highlighting brain tumour this month. Cancer affects most of us in one way or another. Either we know someone fighting the battle or have lost the battle or maybe we're going through it ourselves. I've experienced it both with my parents and grandparents and relatives. Lucky my parents have kicked its ass. I also experienced pre-cancer cells myself. No matter what, this disease is real and attacking us. What I have noticed is the resilience of anyone who has to fight. Both my parents have got on with their life and this collection itself is inspired and dedicated to an amazing inspiring lady from the more darker humour side which this company loves and together we developed this collection. It's pretty straight to the point I think. Keep fighting warriors. That is so awesome. Whew, definitely a really important thing to be raising awareness of and definitely something I'm sure the majority of us can resonate with. Um, so inside let's open up that like kind of reminds me of Christmas for some reason. <laughs> so here is the kind of little brain. As you can see, it is in a brain shape. There's lots of different colors in there. You've got kind of a teal, almost bluey shades and greeny shades and some purples in there. Um, and then this neon green on the top with of course some gorgeous glitter. So that is a really nice size wax melt. I'd say from like my experience of using wax melts, I'd probably just put this on like as one kind of sitting. Although I know some people do kind of cut them up and use them sort of like in different sections um, and different like sittings but I'd say for me this is probably like a perfect size just to add on so that is really awesome it smells really nice it's definitely going to create a really lovely aroma and again a very kind of fruity smell so I'm gonna actually put that so I just put that back in the packaging just to make sure that I don't lose it and then oh okay underneath there is like something oh okay so it comes out in like a square so it's like a box within a box um and this is gorgeous so it's like a white box with like silvery stars all over it and a purple ribbon so i'm just going to take the purple ribbon off just so i can see a bit more what's going on in here okay so it says happy halloween again on the top and it says luxury wax melt so that's how the kind of packaging looks. Again, it does have their logo. And this box definitely feels very full. So let's open it up and see. Oh my goodness, are these loads of... Are there loads of little Halloween ones? Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Right, let me take everything out. This is the most awesome thing. Let me just work out the best way to hold this up. <laughs> so inside we have various different sections with various different spooky things in there so just look at that that is so cool um it says as well oh they're all different okay they're different flavors as well so i say flavors i mean scents they're all different scents as well so it says it like on the inside so i'm just going to hold them up to show you individually so first off in the middle this isn't um a wax melt but i'm so excited to sew this to something it's this little kind of like googly eye bat and it is a button so you can that to something so that's a really nice touch so obviously everything in here is halloween themed so first off we have four of these they are pumpkin spice melts oh and they smell absolutely beautiful and as you can see they are in a pumpkin shape we then have marshmallow ghosts which oh they're definitely the best type of ghost you can have again absolutely beautiful and i'm so glad there's multiple of these in the boxes because i'm already feeling my hoarder feelings where i don't want to like melt stuff because i 
I just want to keep it forever. So I'm glad that there's multiple of them in the box. Um, they actually, there's six of these ghosts, so I definitely have enough to at least keep one for show. And we have Enchanted Woodland Bats, and there are eight of these in here, which is really cool. As you can see, they're little green bats again, fully waxed. So these are just wax melts. Mmm, that's a really interesting smell definitely gives me like enchanted feelings. I feel like this is almost more of like an energizing smell. It's really nice. Oh, that's quite like addictive to smell. I definitely feel like this would be more of like a morning one to do. Um, and then last but not least in the middle, we have a witch's brew one, which is really big. Um, and there's only one of these. So I'm already feeling like kind of protective over it because I kind of don't want to melt it because it is too cute. Um, but it is almost like, uh, I'd say a circle, like a moon. And then we have the witch on there. And that is really, really highly detailed, especially as it is just made of wax. Um, as you can see, it's like a purple wax and then there's like gold glitter on there. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it does say that this is the like a witch brew smell. Again, I feel like that's a very energizing scent. I wouldn't say it's fruity, I'd kind of describe it just kind of as energizing. So this one obviously comes with a lot of paperwork because there is so much within this tiny box. Um, so it says, a perfect little treat box of Melties, all in seasonal scents. So it does then just kind of give information about like how to melt them and what to look out for um, and possible warnings and things. Um, certain ones like the bat ones could cause like skin irritation and could be harmful if swallowed. So it's really interesting and I'm really liking the fact she's including one of these sheets for every single thing just to really push the point home. Um, but that is so exciting and like incredibly satisfying to look at. So I am excited to take some photos of that later. So I'm just going to put the lid back on and put that over there. one more box in here this one is quite long um so let's take the ribbon off again we have the bubba's melties little logo on the front so let me just shimmy that off and open it up there you go again we've got some lovely tissue paper in there oh okay again <laughs> there is a plethora of things in here so let me just put that down so right on top, oh okay, it seems like maybe I should open this one first because it seems like it has a little letter in it. So okay, so it basically has information of all like the stuff that's in there and it just says thank you so much, I hope you enjoy them, can't wait to see the video. The Halloween product should be released by August, September. So that is super exciting, definitely head over there in the next couple of months to find more Halloweeny things. Um, then we have another paper in here, it looks like this is an information sheet. So let's pull this out because this one has one. Oh, okay, so this is called Rest in Peace. And as you can see, it's like in a kind of headstone shape and it's rock, salt and driftwood. So definitely a very different scent to what we've been getting so far. 
and it says that this is a blend of rock salt and driftwood fragrance oil, um, candle dye and mica. It is around 135 grams. A mesmerizing floral marine scent with refreshing notes of seaweed and green algae lie in cool rock pools, livened by the fresh coastal breeze and enhanced by touches of cyclamen and water lily. At the base of the fragrance, sparkling salt crushed driftwood is warmed by amber, patchouli and musk. Wow. Okay, so this collection is inspired by acceptance. By the time I finally became at peace with my illness, I have put to rest the old me and I'm finally at peace and ready to learn to manage my illness and move forward. Of course, you could just love spooky things too. It's fab. The scent mix is amazing. And then you have our kind of warning labels. So let's open this one up as well. I'm definitely feeling with like the description of like rock pools and the beach that this one is going to be a very kind of calming smell. Oh, yeah, definitely. That has a really interesting smell as well. It's definitely not like um, a wax melt that I've had before. As you can see, it's like a little tombstone shape with a cross. Um, it's predominantly a brown color, um, but there are some kind of glittery parts to it as well. Definitely feel like this one, I may have to cut it up a bit because it is just ever so slightly big. So I'd say maybe two to four kind of uses you could get out of that one. Well, this box that like, keeps going. We then have a Bubba Pops, which comes in this little pot and it is in the fragrance candy floss. So you just pop it open oh that is gorgeous and it is just like a purple yeah it's a wax smell a purple wax smell it smells absolutely beautiful simply place in a suitable burner and allow to melt releasing the delicious candy floss scent and it's 20 grams that is beautiful <laughs> that smells so good and then we also have this one um which is in sacrificial blood pumpkin spice um, so this one's in like a kind of plastic container that you can pop off. Oh, that is so good. Okay, so it's like a black background. Then we have the orange pumpkin in the middle with all that glitter. That is absolutely glorious. And by the look of it, they just kind of pop out. So it's sort of ready to go, ready to use. That is so pretty. Again, you may have to cut that one slightly. Mmm, that smells good. That is an amazing smell. But of course, with a little bit of pumpkin included. So this one says, releases a mysterious blend of rich earthy tones combined with sweet, spicy amber notes and woody notes of patchouli and cedarwood merged into a strong, sweet fantasy blueberry fragrance with soft notes of raspberry and apple. It must be like the fruity kind of undertones I was smelling. Um, finally, an aroma of creamy pumpkin with spice notes of nutmeg, cinnamon, clove and ginger rounded off with buttery vanilla notes. There's approximately 40 grams in that one. And then I think there's one more thing in here. So as you can see, this box just keeps going. And ooh, oh, that is so cute. Okay, let me get that out. This is adorable. Look at this packaging. <gasps> Look at this. It's like a little kind of black cardboard coffin box with this glorious bow on it. I'm actually going to see if I can... Oh no, she's stuck the bow on. Oh, I want to keep the bow. Taking the bow off. Um, and then we have a little pumpkin on the top. So let's open, oh, open it up. Okay, so inside we have the logo. We then have her business card and then the information sheet. So let's open it and see what's in here. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, these are so awesome. So it is a little coffin full of orange skulls so let's find out about these skulls shall we it contains six skulls which are a mixture between pumpkin spice and marshmallow and each of them are around 30 grams again vegan it says it's a perfect gift at halloween for the classy goth in your life or to treat to yourself and then again it has all the kind of safety information so here are all the skulls in there so let me just grab one out to show you a bit closer because these are incredibly detailed so as you can see there's all the kind of separate bones and things in there you can even see like the 
uh, little bones and like, uh, I don't even know what they're called, they're almost like the grooves as such in the skull. That is so awesome and so detailed. Again, I'm glad there's more than one of these because I can definitely feel my hoardiness <laughs> not wanting to use all of these up. And as you can see, there is a whole coffin <laughs> full of them. So those are all of the melts from Bubba's Melties. I am so so excited to go try these out um, and trying them out and filling my room with glorious smells. I'm already like surrounded by like a plethora of different fragrances which is amazing. I can't believe how much she was able to fit in here. A very very big thank you for these items and as always I will only ever give a honest review to you. Um, it doesn't matter if I've bought the item, it doesn't matter if I've been sent it, I will only ever give you an honest review and talking to the lady that runs this store she is absolutely amazing the customer service seems kind of second to none the shipping was very quick and as you can see the packaging was just beautiful it's so amazing you can tell that a lot of love and care has gone into this which is always kind of the best thing that you get with the smaller businesses I just love all the time and effort that they go into giving you the best possible product and of course it's all spooky and it's all Halloweeny and what are you not going to love about these glorious products so I will leave all of the information that you need down below to her social media so you can see what she's been making perhaps what's coming up in the future see if there's anything you'd like we'll also leave links down to her shop as well and her website in case you'd like to purchase any of these and as she did say definitely keep an eye out around Halloween because there's going to be some amazing new spooky goodies to come. I feel really really honoured to have opened this box to you and again I love love the fact that it is raising awareness of different illnesses and disabilities. I think that's a really really important thing and it's a really nice and easy and just fun way of doing it. So thank you very very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments Please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are. I hope you're enjoying the shade and I will see you next time. Bye!